Hello everybody! I am going to be showing you another quick and simple delicious dinner. Um, it's going to be super easy for you to make. It tastes great <laughs> and it doesn't take much time to do it at all. There's only a few ingredients so it's not too complicated and you're actually only using one pot. So it makes everything super simple, fast, and ready to go. All right, guys, I'm going to show you all the ingredients you're going to need. All righty, so this is your ingredients that you're going to be using today. You're going to be using either chicken broth or you can do chicken stock. And my version that I'm going to be using today is going to be the chicken bouillon. And it's just one cup of water, one teaspoon of the chicken bouillon, and you mix it all around. We're going to be using lime juice, ground cumin, black pepper, sea salt, um, we're going to be using diced green chilies, um, a medium heat, just in case you have kiddos, it won't turn out too hot. Ground coriander, garlic, these are tomatillos, we're going to be using four of them. Half of an onion, and we have a pork roast here. And this one here is 2.15 pounds, not too bad. So for those of you that don't know, a tomatillo almost looks like a green tomato. You're going to find it in the store and it's going to have this almost paper husk on it. When you peel it, it's going to pop open like that. Almost just like a tomato. So we're just going to dice four of these bad boys up and that's what we're going to use. Okay, so prep time is approximately five to ten minutes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna dice and chop up your um, pork roast into about one inch cubes. If you like them a little bit smaller, that's great too. It's all personal preference. And then you're also gonna dice up your onion and your tomatillos and tomatillos. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but anyways. So your tomatillos and then um, get all your spices together and basically you're then just going to dump it all into the pot. So I'm going to give you the measurements and show you what it looks like. Alright, so starting here is we have our half um, diced onion and I used a sweet um, onion, sweet yellow onion. Um, that's just personal preference. I like those better. Um, you also have our four tomatillos diced up. This is our roast all diced one inch cubes. This is going to be our one cup of chicken stock. What I used here is one cup of water and one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Mix that all together and that's going to be my chicken stock. This is going to be all of our all of the spices that you're going to use. In this little bowl here you have your four ounce can of green chilies. You also have your one tablespoon of lime juice. You have one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, you have one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, we have two teaspoons of minced garlic in there, and now we're going to dump it all into the pot. Alrighty, I have my little helper here, and she's going to help me put it all into the Instapot. So first she's going to put in the pork. <laughs> I've already put in the liquid just for... Uh, Clean, cleanliness purposes, that way nothing got spilt. <laughs> so I've already put in the chicken stock. She's going to put in the pork for me. Go ahead. Oop. Yep, just like that. <laughs> Gotta it love it. It's just in a mountain. Look, yeah. it's like all stuck. <laughs> okay. Next, she's going to dump in the uh, tomatillos and the onions for tomatillos. me. Tomatillos. Right in. Watch out what you're doing. Good job. Make sure you get them all in there. Oh, come out. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll switch you, and then I'll hand you spices. Thank you, my dear. That's as good as it's gonna get. And now she's going to put in all the yummy spices. It smells delicious. I know, huh? Okay, yep. Get them all in there. Don't want to mix any. Miss any. Alright, guys. Now, what we're going to do here is you're going to put on your pressure cooker lid. Um, 
And I'm going to show you I'll here. Right yeah, okay. My helper's going to be right back. So we're going to put on the lid here. Lock it. You're going to make sure it's in the middle to seal. You're going to come down here to manual. And we're going to bump it up to 40 minutes. If you hold it down, the minutes go a little bit faster. Boop. All right, and then that will go. That's all I you need to do. Apron. And when you come back after, we want to let this fully release. So that usually takes about 10 minutes after it's all done cooking. And we'll be back. Now she's ready to cook. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. So it's been about 10 minutes since it has beeped. And so now what we're going to do is you're going to release the top um, for the rest of the pressure to come out. And that should only take like a minute or two for it to be all done. So this is what it's going to look like. Just like that. Alrighty, so yep, that only took about a minute or two. So it is all released now. Open that bad boy up. Steam it, steam it. Ooh, yeah. Look at that, looks so, so good. Oh my gosh, and it smells awesome. Beautimous.